my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm finally back with another video i know i have not been uploading consistently like i have been in the past um and i'm just gonna like give you guys a brief explanation i guess um and the reason why i haven't been is because i been, i did get a new job i did mention it in one of my previous videos i did get a new job and honestly i don't have a set schedule anymore whereas when i was working at jc penny I did have a set schedule, so I kind of knew the days that I was recording, I knew the days that I was uploading, but in this case, I don't know, I don't really have a set schedule anymore, which kind of sucks, because the days that I do want to film, I have work, or like when I do have a day off, I just want to honestly just relax, because I work so hard all the time, and all my shifts have been 8 hour shifts, um, so I really don't have time to sit down and record, and then I don't have time to sit down and edit. Um, I know some of people may think, like, oh, if you're committed, like, you're gonna find a way. But honestly, guys, like, if you guys are hairdressers, you guys know how tiring it is being on your feet for eight or plus hours. Like, it kills. Like, it's honestly really, really tiring. So that's why I really haven't been uploading because, like, this week I have today off, which was today's Wednesday, Tuesday, and I don't have my day off till Friday. So it's, like, it's kind of hard for me to film and edit and, like, put videos up when I don't know when my days off are going to be. And, like I said, when I am off, I just want to relax. Like, I don't really want to, you know, sit down and do my makeup because I get ready all the time for work. I work five days and I have two days off because there's seven days in a week. So I work five days and I have two days off. But I'm going to try my best to keep uploading and to keep um, filming videos because I know... You guys want to see more content and if you guys don't i'm still gonna upload it for you guys but moving on for today's video as you guys seen by the title i wanted to do a video focusing on like my favorite lip combos because i know when i see makeup influencers like post pictures or anything of that sort i always comment like if it's a really nice lip combo i'm like oh my god what lip combos and i understand there's probably thousands and thousands of people asking them that question you can't get to all of your questions but i just hate when I know that there's multiple people asking, and I know that they see it and they don't answer. Not even just makeup influencers, honestly, just anybody in general, because I hate those type of girls, guys, or whatever, when they post something and then you ask, like, oh, hey, where'd you get this or so-and-so, and they don't tell you. And I know that you've seen it, and then you're going to go and say, oh, I hate when people so-and-so, like, you're just being a hypocrite because cause it's happened to me, honestly, where I asked this girl where she got something done, and I know she's seen the message, and she didn't reply. But that's besides the point. So I wanted to do this video focusing on, like, my favorite lip combos. So if you guys follow me on Instagram and you guys see, like, certain, like, lip combos, most for the most part, I always tag, like, the company or whatever I'm using um, in the picture or I'll write it down in the description. Um, but I wanted to do it for you guys here on YouTube. My favorite lip combos that I kind of wore often or I have wore and all that good stuff. Um, so the first one is this one that I have on right now. So for this one, the lip liner that I did pair was a KKW Beauty lip liner in nude too. So this one is more like of a brown kind of color. I did do a review on this already, so I'm not really going to go into it. Um, But this is like a darker brown color. And the reason why I like it, because as you guys can see, it gives me like that nice, not ombre effect, but you can see like the dark color. So the color that I have on top of that is this Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Knock on Wood. And this color I had just purchased. I had seen a lot of people constantly posting this knock on wood liquid lipstick. And I was like, like it looked really good because a lot of people said that it was like the perfect nude. So I had seen a lot of people posting about this one. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. I did get another one, which I'll mention after this one. Or in a, in a while, I'll mention that one. Um, but when I seen this one and when I got it, I was like, oh my God. I feel like this one matches my skin tone a little bit better because you guys can see it's more like of a brown kind of nude which is what i've been looking for for like all these years you guys know and the other one that i was using for a long time it was a nude but it was like more for a fair skin i mean it still look okay with my skin tone but i would prefer like a brown tone nude like this one so i'll go ahead and get closer so you guys can see how this one looks so again this one i paired the kkw beauty lip liner in nude too and the dose of colors liquid lipstick in knock on wood
And then another, so that's one combo that I have been wearing, like, when it was kind of, like, around the winter time when it was really windy outside, because I didn't want to add gloss or anything, because I didn't want my hair sticking to my lips, so this is the first, um, kind of lip combo, I guess, and then the second one, it does include gloss, but I'm not going to change anything, I'm just going to add a gloss on top. I did wear the next combo, which I'm about to tell you guys. I did wear this when I went to Vegas, and I did take a picture, and I absolutely love how my lips looked. They just look really, like, nude and, like, glossy. Excuse me. So, and that is, again, Dress of Colors. This is their um, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse collection, I believe it is, and then this one is in the shade one and only. So, this is what it looks like. This is, like, the packaging that they had done for, like, the Disney, I guess, um, collection. So, this is what it looks like. So, as you guys can see, it looks like a brown kind of nude. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this on top so you guys can see how it looks. Oh, the scratch right there. Honestly, guys, this smells amazing. Like, I'm trying to see what it smells like. Kind of like cake. Like when the cake's baking. I don't know, but... Okay, so this is how it looks with gloss, so as you guys can see, it like completely changes the look, but I absolutely love, love, love this combo. I don't wear it often because it has been windy out, so I don't like when my hair sticks to my lips, but this is um, the KKW Beauty Lip Liner, the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick, and the Dose of Colors Lip um, Gloss on top, so you guys can see it like completely changed it, um, but still, it's still really subtle, but I feel like it just gives you like an extra like little plump to your lips, which I absolutely love, so again, this is what this one looks like. Okay, so for the next one, this is another one that I was, like, in love with. This was my go-to lip combo. And that is, I just literally, okay. And it's teeny tiny. But this is the MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down. This is how much I've used. Um, but this is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this. So this one is more like of a nude color as you guys can see, um, it honestly kind of matches my lips just a little bit, but the reason why I like pairing it with the color that I do um, is because I feel like it gives it like that dimension as well with, with the darker outer lip and then like the, um, the light color in the center. So this is the one that I was obsessed with and if you guys have been following me you guys know that this was like my go to lip combo and liquid lipstick. I was using this liquid lipstick for like every look. And that's the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sand. And I actually got this lip combo because of um, Eva XO. She had mentioned that she was using this one. So I was like, I have to get this one. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the liquid lipstick on top. So as you guys can see, this one is like a lot lighter than the other one. But it still makes it really, really pretty nude. So what I do is I apply it to the center like so. And then I... And just doing that, it kind of like distributes distributes the product, and then I get the applicator and I clean it like on a napkin, so there's no more product. And then I lightly go over the lip liner because I don't want to cover it completely. So just like so. So just like that. So this is this lip combo, so you guys can see this one compared to the previous one. The other one was more like of a brown kind of nude. This one's more like of a pink. Oh my god. This one's more like of a pinky nude, but still looks really good. Um, I think the lip liner really makes a difference because I know that I've used this one by itself, and it makes it look like really just like white. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about when it kind of just looks like washed out, but I think applying the lip liner, it really does make a difference. And honestly, I feel like you can even apply the KKW Beauty lip liner on top. Actually, I'm going to apply it just, I'm sorry, under, but I'm going to apply it on top just to see if it makes any difference. But again, this one, just this lip combo right here is MAC Strip Down Lip Liner and Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sand. So I'm going to apply the KKW one, let's see.
okay on camera i'm not sure if it's even like picking it up but in person i feel like it did make a difference and i think applying this one on top it did give it now that like ombre effect um with like the darker outline of my lips and then like the center is like really um light but actually i like i actually like this lip combo I have to try this one, like, doing it with just the lip liner and then the liquid lipstick on top instead of applying the liquid lip, the liner on top. But this is this one. And again, you guys can add the gloss to this one. I don't really do, um, but this is, like, a lip combo that I have wore. Um, but just to show you guys how it would look if you guys were to apply this gloss on top. Honestly, this gloss, it looks like it's, like um colored it is it does have a hint of color but it's not like too much where it's going to completely change the look so i'm going to go ahead and apply this on top you see how like that difference that it makes like this is the bottom one is with the gloss the top one is just the matte so if you guys can see it didn't really change it that much it did like give it just a little hint of color um, but for the most part, honestly, guys, I'm, like, obsessed with all these lip combos. And I wear nudes, like, on the daily. I don't really wear much dark colors, which I will get into, like, the darker colors in the, in a while. Okay, so I did get two new lip liners, but I'm not going to mention them. Just because, if I'm being honest, I haven't used them that often to say, like, they're, like, a favorite of mine. But they're both from Morphe, and they're in the shade Sweetheart and Honeymoon. This is what they look like. So sweet. Oh, where where is it? So Sweetheart is on the bottom, and Honeymoon is on the top. So as you can see, this one is more like of a kind of like brown, pink nude, kind of like a hint of pink, mostly more brown. And this one on the bottom is like legit brown more like of a brown nude more on the nude side but they're both really really pretty colors um i'll go ahead and swatch both of them for you um but like i said i'm not gonna mention them and i'm not gonna wear them just because i haven't wore them um so i can't say if they're a favorite like lip combo of mine so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch honeymoon first so this is like that darker shade so it is like more like of that brown kind of pinky nude so that's right there and then the next one is sweetheart and this is like that more nude one so this one's this one's definitely more brown so that's sweetheart and this oh this is sweetheart and that's honeymoon right there so this one i think i have wore before and i really really like this one um but I'm, again i'm not going to mention it just because i haven't worn it so those honestly were the actually there's another one i lied so the last nude that i have been um obsessed with and if again if you guys were if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you guys know that i was using this one like constantly and this one's the Smashbox, always on liquid lipstick in Gotta Light. It looks like this. You guys know this was like my go-to. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this one. I don't, I didn't apply any lip liner to because it wasn't that light that I needed to. But I'm going to go ahead and apply this one now. Okay, so this one right here, it's got a light, and this one, it does kind of look like my, my lips, just maybe a little bit lighter, but as you guys can see, you really don't need to pair it with a lip liner, because I think by itself, and once it like dries down completely, it looks really, really nice. This one is more like on the pinky side, not so much that much pink in it, but you, obviously you can see that there's some pink in it compared to like the first lip combo, where you can tell that it was more of a brown nude, um, but this was honestly like my go-to lip um lipstick because i would legit wear it all the time i want to say maybe i did pair it with the max strip down um liner like a couple of times but honestly for the most part i would wear it just by itself because as you guys can see it looks perfectly fine by itself so again this is the smashbox always on liquid lipstick and got a light okay so moving on to now like um a little bit more color this is the frankie rose cosmetics liquid lipstick in macaroon it looks like this oh it's upside down so it looks like this as you guys can see honestly i think this will probably fall under like the nude category um so again since it's like to me in the when i apply it, it's like more like of a brown kind of liquid lipstick so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my 
KKW Beauty Lip Liner in Neutral. Honestly, guys, I would definitely recommend this brown liquid lipstick. I'm sorry, lip liner, because I feel like it can go with any lipstick. So for the most part, every time I'm wearing like a liquid lipstick or whatever, for the most part, I'm wearing this lip liner. So again, I'm going to go ahead and apply this liquid lipstick on top. And this one by itself, as you guys can see, it's more like on the pinky side still. But once I pair it with the lip liner, I feel like it kind of just blends in and the brown really like um it gives it that nice like contrast so again this is another one of my favorite lip combos um again i really like how it looks with the darker lip liner and then like the light color on the center of my lid and this is kkw beauty lip liner in nude too and the frankie rose liquid lipstick in macaroon Okay, and then the last one is this Gerard Cosmetics Lip Liner in Mudslide. So this one is like a darker. This one is more like of a brown color. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this one. This one is more... This one's more pigmented and I feel like this one has a little bit more of like that brick red color. So then when I do want to wear a red lip, I'm not sure where my other one is at, but the other one is the one that I would wear most of the time when I'm wearing like a good red lip. And that one is the Real Her Liquid Lipstick. I'm not sure what the shade is called. I want to say it's maybe called Ruby or something like that. And that one's like a legit red. Um, but I have also used this one. And this one's always on liquid lipstick in the shade Disorderly. So it looks like this. And I like pairing it with this red, with this lip liner, because I feel like it gives it like that. Not Chola vibe, but like with the really dark outer lip. So this is this liquid lipstick. So as you guys can see, it like it legit gives it like that kind of like ombre effect with the brick red lip liner and then like the red in the center. I absolutely love this lip combo as well. Like I said, I don't really wear much red now. That's why there wasn't really many lip combos, but these are the ones that I have wore in the past and that I wore quite often. Um, but this one, I absolutely love. So if you guys are looking for a good like red lip combo, I really do recommend this one. I feel like it goes really good with my skin tone and I like how um, it looks more like of that ombre effect. Let me get closer so you guys can see. Like it just looks really, really good. So I know my lips look a little crusty and that's from wiping off the freaking liquid lipsticks. Um, so they did get a little bit swollen and they did um, get a little bit red. But that was pretty much it for this entire video. So I really hope you guys did appreciate this video just because as, as I said in the beginning, I know sometimes people wonder what people um, like are wearing lip combo wise or just in general outfit wise whatever the case may be and i know sometimes they don't get the answers that they're looking for so if you guys have ever seen my instagram and you guys wonder um what lip combo i'm wearing or if you guys just want to um try out new lip combos i really really recommend for you guys to go out and purchase some of these the ones that i do recommend if you guys are looking for more nude are the first two lip combos that i did mention because you guys are not going to be let down i guarantee you guys you guys are going to love them um because i know i did and i hope you guys do um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one.